Hello guys, good evening, welcome to Great Up. So guys, uh, in this session we are going to discuss the top current affairs from the month of January 2021. So I hope I'm um, clearly audible and visible to all of you. So please uh, do mention in comment section so we can start this session. All right. So uh, G8 tornado session. Basically, Madhav sir uh, generally is session ko lete hain, but uh, Madhav sir aaj leave pe hain. Okay. So isliye aaj main isko continue karunga. Okay. So today and tomorrow it's up. Okay. Chalo. So um, yes, it's a one hour duration session and we'll discuss uh, top hundred current affairs from the month of January 2021. I hope I'm clearly audible and visible to all of you. So please do mention in comment section so we can start this session. All right. So, एक बार जल्दी जल्दी से आपका कमेंट्स के थ्रू लिख के बताइए एंड uh, यहाँ पे हम लोग डिस्कस करने वाले हैं टॉप हंड्रेड करंट अफेयर्स फ्रॉम द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी 2021 एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर अपडेट्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर अपकमिंग एग्जामिनेशन टीम इफ यू गोइंग फॉर ए सी 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 एस बी पी ओ एंड आई बी पी एस पी ओ एंड आर आर बी पी ओ एंड ऑल सो फॉर ऑल एग्जामिनेशन दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो एवरी वन इफ एवरी वन इज रेडी प्लीज डू मैंशन इन कॉमेंट सेक्शन यस सो वी कैन स्टार्ट दिस सेशन ऑल लाइफ यस so uh, uh, those who are watching live please guys uh, do share this session with your friends as well so other can also join and uh, they can also participate in this particular mcq session and all so everyone please do mention yes if you are ready we can start this session so we have number of updates for today's session so we'll try to discuss these particular things in detail or the related facts about these particular one all right yes so we'll start this session with the first question on your screen so please go through that particular question and try to answer and a very good evening to all of you guys yes ma'am so first question on your screen uh, national meteorology conclave 2020 was organized in uh, which of the following city so what will be your answer for this one guys yes yes vaishnavi i'll definitely share this particular pdf after session day. but uh, as of now i would say please practice and uh, try to answer these particular question in all so your right answer for this one is new delhi so nayi delhi jahan pe aapka national meteorology conclave 2020 aapka organize kiya gaya tha and uh, if you talk about this particular conclave so this is generally inaugurated by prime minister narendra modi and uh, this particular events is organized by council of scientific and uh, industrial research नेशनल फिजिकल लेबोरेटरी इन न्यू डेली जहां पे इसको ऑर्गेनाइज किया गया था तो थीम दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन अगेन सो दी सेकेंड थिंग इज जनरली आज इन योर बैंकिंग एग्जामिनेशन अबाउट मेट्रोलॉजी फॉर द इंक्लूसिव ग्रोथ ऑफ नेशन so please uh, do remember this particular one so we have three major question first one is who launched this particular one or who organ uh, this second question is generally we, we already talk about that particular one kahan pe organize kiya gaya so nayi delhi and uh, launched by prime minister narendra modi and please do remember this theme as well so theme is meteorology for the inclusive growth of the nation so that is the theme for that one uh mandeep aaj uh, uh whoever asking about madhav sir madhav sir on leave theek hai so madhav sir chutti pe hain aaj so aaj aur kal and monday teen din mai lunga uske baad fir madhav sir continue karenge all right chalo next question on your screen which country has deployed a fleet of underwater drones called a sea wings glider in indian ocean region so basically we can see uh, these these kind of um, these kind of drones generally used for the overall surveillance under the uh, under these uh, sea waters and all so recently there is a country so jiske dwara jo indian ocean region hai uske andar in drones ko aapka generally uh, deploy kiya gaya and what is the name of that particular country so your answer is china so generally generally there are two countries like china japan russia and all these use these particular drones and all so this time your answer is china for this particular question okay so next question on your screen guys next question the ministry of defense has signed a contract with which defense establishment for procurement of 10 linex u2 a uh, naval gun fire control system so as you can see in this particular image as well so this is generally known as 10 linex u2 so linex u2 that is generally used by indian navy so these are naval gun fire control system and all and uh, uh, recently in uh, that uh, defense ministry who procured these particular uh, deals with which organization or which uh, which company so your answer is BEL so Bharat Electronics Limited if you guys are following daily current affairs and all so we already talk about this particular system in our team so defense ministry has signed a contract with Bharat Electronics Limited to procure 
or procurement of 10 Linux U2 uh, fire control system. The overall deal is about uh, 1,355 crore. So please do remember this one as well because this is quite important for your examination. And uh, this is also part of the overall. These are generally indigenously developed by others BEL with the help of uh, that DR Durium. So these are again part of Made in India and Make in India. And uh, uh, this is a part of that Atmanabha Atman Bharat campaign as well. Next question on your screen, guys. The ROD TEP scheme has uh, replaced the popular mercantile uh, export from uh, India scheme uh, from January 1st, 2021. Now the question is about abbreviation. So there is a scheme which is recently announced by government of India and it is effective from January 1st, 2021. So the name of that particular scheme is RODTEP and uh, what is that's R represent for, so your answer is remission. So we'll come to that particular scheme. So R, that is a stand for remission. Very good guys, awesome. Okay. So remission, that, that means the full form of this particular scheme is remission of duties or taxes on export product. Okay. So this is the abbreviation. So please try to remember that particular one. In your banking examination, you will definitely find two to three questions from the abbreviation part. And most of the time they ask question from government schemes, payment related tools or generally these common terms which are generally used by RBI. So this is quite important for your examination purpose as well. And this particular scheme that, that generally effective from January 1st, 2021. So under this scheme that embedded central state and local duties or taxes will get a refunded or credited in exporters or leisure account and even these um, uh, importers also will use this particular one okay. so option option um, uh, please do remember the abbreviation and all about this particular one okay. so this is quite important for your examination purpose as well next question guys about um, SEBI that is securities and exchange board of india so the securities and exchange board of india has imposed a fine of Rupees 25 crore on which of the following um, Indian company for carrying a um, manipulative trade. So this particular trade is about uh, 2017-18 when uh, uh, this is a case of insider actually. So when that particular company's owner did some insider kind of in, inside, they, they make some insider positions through this particular trade and all. Okay. And uh, the answer for this one is Reliance. Okay. So Reliance is the right answer for this one. Apart from Reliance Industries, even the chairman of Reliance Industry, that uh, Mukesh Ammani, they say we also made a penalty of 15 crore. And there are two companies who were involved in this particular trade. These are like Navi Mumbai SCZ Private Limited and Mumbai SCZ Limited. So, SEBI also make penalty on these two organizations as well, 10, 20 crore and 10 crore uh, respectively. So, this particular, this particular news is about generally we can say kind of uh, insider so they already know about the company decision and as per their decision they already make short position in uh, derivative market so that's why recently say we make a penalty on these particular entities or individual as well okay next question on your screen Achha, anyone else uh, facing voice issue i hope my voice is clear now yes or no there are few students who mentioned ki, uh, there is a problem with the voice. So it is okay guys, yes or no? And mothers are on leave today, okay? so don't worry about that particular thing. So mothers will rejoin from Tuesday on, onward. Okay? So uh, Prashant and all those who are asking about mothers. Next question, uh, the Indian Army has signed an agreement with a which defense manufacturer to procure 12 high performance petrol uh, boats to boost uh, the its surveillance of Pangong Lake in eastern Ladakh and all things. So what will be your answer for this one? Yes, thank you so much guys and for chalo, abhi, uh, questions ke upar focus ki jade. So the question is about abhi Indian Army ke dwara aapka 10 uh, aapka jo petrol vessels aapke hote hai, generally unko procure kiya gai company se. Uh, uh, the name of that particular company is uh, Goa Shipyard Limited. Okay. So Goa Shipyard Limited will be the right answer for this one. And will you will that particular army or that naval and coastal guard will generally use these particular surveillance vehicles or these particular uh, uh, these uh, particular petrol boats and all for surveillance and other purposes as well. Okay. Next question is very easy okay. and uh, quite important one for your examination purpose. So guys, huh, please quickly try to answer your questions. We have number of questions. We have handed question for this particular session as well. So next question is, 
who has been appointed as the new chairman and uh, chief executive officer of uh, railway board so i hope you guys remember vk yadav was the first uh, chairman for this particular organization and recently vinod kumar yadav is replaced by whom so your answer is sunit sharma so sunit sharma will be correct answer for this one. very easy question and quite important for your examination purpose as well so sunit sharma previously uh served as a the general uh, manager in the uh, eastern railway and uh, recently he replaced uh, vinod kumar yadav so also remember this uh, vinod kumar yadav this particular name that is quite important for examination purposes next question guys uh who has been appointed as the deputy uh, election commissioner in uh, election commission of india and also mention who is current uh, chief election commissioner of india in common section okay. yes so please quickly answer this particular question again very easy one you we can say uh yes ha huh, definitely sir will come with this particular one abhi hum log iske upar focus karenge okay. so the deputy uh, election commissioner so your answer is your answer is option a umesh sinha and who is current chief election commissioner guys yes sunil arora will be right answer for that particular one so these kind of appointments take up uh, for your upcoming examination the recent oriented current affairs or the recent uh, within 3 to 4 months matlab 3 4 mahine ke andar jo bhi appointments hue kafi important hai aapke examinations ke so uh, examiner is not going to ask uh, about these kind of question they will come to to the points take up kisko aapka appoint kiya gaya all jinko aap log dhyan rakh sakte hain next question on your screen guys Uh, who has uh, taken over as uh, the first uh, women head of uh, this sale or that uh, steel authority of india limited so i hope you guys are aware about sale so sale uh, that abhi uh, government of india ke dwara iske andar 10% uh, stake holding ko sell karne ka bhi baat kiya gaya hai so this is again quite important yeah. so government uh, government of india recently come with their uh, disinvestment plan and sale as well and uh, the first women head of this particular organization is your answer is soma mondal okay so option a will be correct answer for this one is okay yes ha there are few student who mention ki its headquarter located in uh, new delhi and all okay. so soma soma mondal soma mondal uh, has uh, taken over the uh, chairman of steel authority uh, she was the director of sale prior this particular position and she is the first one who generally uh, uh, first women who generally who generally will head this particular organization in all and they will generally take care about the overall financial solution in all after that they generally made an announcement about this 10% disinvestment in this particular company as well chalo next question on your screen guys yes sir so international uh, card payment services that is rupay partnered uh, with uh, which of the following bank and uh, innovative payment solution for uh, the indian merchants that is rupay or pos that pos acha what is the full form of pos everyone please quickly mention in comment section in association with pay nearby so indian uh, that rupay and pay nearby and uh, there is one another bank as well name of that particular bank is rbl so these three parties will generally come with some rupay pos that is point of sale and uh, will work on uh, these particular technologies or the overall digitalization of this particular area as well and even i hope you guys remember that there is a scheme pidf uh, you guys remember what is the full form of pidf so pidf that is in news recently are they come with that particular plan and uh, rbl is uh, already implemented that particular thing team so we have committees and we have the overall numbers in as well so that is payment infrastructure development fund we are generally focusing tier 3 to tier 6 cities under this particular scheme so we are working on these particular areas and uh, uh, these particular technologies is generally work on nfc that is again this is very important abbreviation for your examination purpose that is near field communication and the current limit is the current cardless limit is 5000 previously it was 2000 okay. so please we have so many things from this particular area we have a uh, rupay pos apart from that you can uh, please do remember this one as well okay. the current uh, cardless payment limit is 5000 previously it was 2000 and these technologies generally work on uh, near field communication basis or generally that is known as nfc yes ha bp kanan go that will head that particular committee very good ha prakash mentioned that particular thing next question is about trifid trifid uh trifid has signed mou with uh, akhil bharatiya uh, vanwasi uh, kalyan ashram to set up 
ट्राई फूड पार्क इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेट ठीक है सो ट्राइबल कोऑपरेटिव मार्केटिंग डेवलपमेंट फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडिया लिमिटेड दैट जनरली वर्क अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ ट्राइबल अफेयर्स ठीक है सो दे रिसेंटली दे रिसेंटली मेड सम टाई अप और दे साइन सम एमओयूज विद अखिल भारतीय वनवासी कल्याण आश्रम ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश सो मध्य प्रदेश विल बी राइट आंसर फॉर दिस वन यस सो ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर वन वेरी गुड गाइस सो नाउ यू कैन रिमेंबर इन दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू कैन जस्ट गो फॉर the uh, to the point statement and all so next question which state government has set up a tamil academy to promote uh, the south indian language in their uh, in that particular region and all so this is a very easy question i hope everyone remember about this particular one again so delhi will be right answer so nay delhi ya jo ncr region aapka wahan pe jitne bhi jo tamil ek tamil academy aapka jisko promote kiya jayega and jo bhi south indian jo language hai un sabhi ko promote kiya jayega so they can also share their culture and all okay so option A is the right answer for this one. Very good, guys. Awesome. Next question on your screen. Next question. Union Education Minister Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishan uh, laid the foundation stone of uh, the building School of Emerge School of Engineering and Atal Bihari Vajpayee School of Management and Entrepreneurship in which of the following IIT? So, what will be your answer? I hope you remember. Yeah. So, this is again from January two thousand twenty-one, uh, the first week of January two thousand twenty-one, and. Uh, the name of that particular university is jnu so there is two new departments which is generally started in jnu one is school of engineering and second one is atal bihari vajpayee school of management and entrepreneurship okay so jnu that is option d is the right answer for this one and this is generally inaugurated by or the uh, foundation stone is laid down by uh, ramesh pokhriyal nishank education minister all right very good guys next question on your screen and guys those who are watching live please do share this particular session with your friends as well okay so uh, other can also join this particular one next one uh, which country is of parliament has passed the malala yusufzai scholarship act so this is again to the points i hope you remember okay. so this particular scholarship act will help to uh, pakistani girls or pakistani women to receive uh, higher education or uh, in that uh, to receive uh, scholarship for higher education and at least 50% of the overall tuition fee will be funded by that particular country okay. so under this particular act the 50 minimum at least we can say at least 50% of the overall scholarship is uh, or the overall tuition fee is funded by that particular country so usa is the right answer for this one okay. so usa is the correct answer for this one the bill required the us agency for international development to uh, award at least 50% of uh, this scholarship please do remember this particular one as well because this is downside and all okay all right yes sir huh? 2014 uh, novel peace uh, novel winner in peace and all we already talk about this particular thing so many time very good chalo next question on your screen renewed personality brain uh, orkan hart who uh, played a central role in development uh, in developing uh, the united nations practices of peace keeping passed away recently he was a diplomat of which of the following country so again i hope you guys remember about this particular personality as well so he was also a foundation a founding member of that particular united nations or even that particular united nations peace keeping mission and all these all ideas are generally given by this particular person okay so your answer is united kingdom so uk will be correct answer for that one okay so uk will be correct answer for this one so british a diplomat uh brain who recently passed away and uh, he uh, he uh, he was a founder of a, we can say he's a uh, advisory member that uh, for that particular uni uh, united nations and all okay so bahut sare areas yahan pe inke dwara advise kiya gaya tha next question uh, who has been elected as the uh, speaker of house of representative for the 117th congress so this is uh, about a uh, us okay so recently uh, this particular announcement is uh, generally made by us congress and uh, she will lead that particular 117 congress so for this one your answer is nancy pelosi okay so nancy pelosi will be right answer for this one now if you talk about joe biden team so there are number of indians who generally nominated for different different profiles and all them okay? and so please keep a track on these particular name as well okay? these names are quite important for your upcoming examination okay so at least one or two question you guys can find from that particular segment next question guys uh there is a there is a national park name of that particular national park is mathiketan sola national park is located in which state in uh, uh, which the central government has notified 0 to 1 km area 
around the boundary of as a eco sensitive zone eco sensitive zone means we are we will procure that particular area as it okay. so let's suppose this is the park uh, this is the overall area of that particular national park and uh, within this 1 to 0 kilometers that will be declared as a that is generally declared as a eco sensitive zone okay. so we'll uh, will restrict some human activities in that particular area as okay. so now if you talk about this statics okay, okay. so every time uh, whenever examiner pick question from static GK, especially uh, in case of SBI and IBPS view and ECC and all, so they uh, they generally ask question from current oriented things. Okay. So this is generally located in which state? So your answer is Kerala. So Kerala will be correct answer for this. So this is quite important uh, static GK question for your examination purposes. Okay. So please do remember the overall area of this particular one is about 17.5 square kilometer and uh, important uh, for elephants and all these are some uh, major animals from that particular park and this is recently declared as a eco sensitive zone by central uh, uh, central government next question on your screen guys uh, which railway station is set to get the world longest railway station of 1500 plus meter so this is a very easy question i hope everyone remember about this particular one again so, uh, if you remember what is the uh, what was the old name of this particular railway station, please do mention in comment section. Okay? Yes. So your answer is option C. It means Hubli Karnataka. Okay? So Hubli Junction in Karnataka. And uh, the previous one, the previous one was uh, if you talk about the previous one, that was Gorakhpur. Okay? So Gorakhpur, Uttar Pradesh. Gorakhpur Uttar Pradesh was the previous one with about 1360 meter. Now with 1500 plus meters, this Hubli Junction in Karnataka will be uh, world largest or world longest railway station platform. Take a weekend city. Yes, sir. So uh, uh, before this one, yeah. so this particular one is also known as Sri um, Siddharu. Sri Siddharudha Swamiji Railway Station. Okay. So previously it was known as Sri Siddharudha uh, Swamiji Railway Station. Okay. And that will be inaugurated uh, by uh, March to 2021. And the overall cost for that particular one is about 90 crore. Okay. So yes, so we have some data. Again, you can remember this particular name. Even uh, that uh, previous name or uh, the tentative date for that particular inauguration in uh, all as well. Okay. Next one, guys. Next question. The fourth Global Ayurveda Festival 2021 will be organized in which state to be held from 12th to uh, 19th of March 2021. So this is the upcoming events and there is a probability the examiner can ask these kind of questions as well. So the upcoming events on your questions so we have that particular date and all everything the overall planning and all so where will organize it? so your answer will be Kerala so option C is the right answer for this one so fourth global Ayurveda festival 2021 that will be organized by or hosted by Kerala so Kerala will be correct answer for this one so it's a showcase of Ayurveda as a global uh, treatment program and there are number of uh, and there, are, there will be number of countries who will participate in this particular one and uh, even these ayurveda related companies or ngos and all those who participate this particular this exhibition will help online um, and will have stall of ayurvedic companies from all over the world so so again this is quite important for your upcoming examination so try to remember the at least uh, the name of that particular city as well okay. so next question on your screen under who chairmanship the ugc university grant commission has set up a seven member committee to look at the possibility and review the feasibility of holding the common entrance test uh, the common entrance test undergraduate level from uh, the next academic year in autumn so now the question is about committees and recommendations team so again you will definitely find one question and go for the current uh, current uh, current uh, related uh, committees in autumn so we have number of committees during last um, uh, four to five months so you can go for that particular yes so rp tiwari will be correct answer and he's a current vice chancellor of punjab university team. so rp tiwari is the right answer for this one and uh, he is a current vice chancellor of Central University of Punjab. So please do remember this particular post as well. And they'll come with their suggestion and then we'll try to implement that particular one. So there will be a common test for these undergraduate, uh, undergraduate classes in all. And through this particular one, we can uh, so 
इट मींस कि पूरे देश के लिए एक सिंगल टेस्ट आपका होगा या आई होप यू गाइस आर वेयर अबाउट दैट एनआरए एंड सीटी टीम सो उन सब से रिलेट कर दो यस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन गाइस व्हिच स्टेट वांट द प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना अर्बन अवार्ड 2019 इन द बेस्ट परफॉर्मिंग स्टेट कैटेगरी सो रिसेंटली इन दैट पर्टिकुलर स्टेट uh prime minister narendra modi also announced some uh, building of some new houses and all like i hope you guys remember about that particular news as well okay. so that was uh, related to gramin okay. so this is about uh, the urban but that particular scheme was related to gramin or that pradhan mantri awas yojana gramin okay. so for this one your answer is uttar pradesh okay. uttar pradesh will be right answer not madhya pradesh followed by uttar uh, madhya pradesh okay. so uttar pradesh who won first prize and second prize that goes to madhya pradesh okay. whoever mentioned madhya the pradesh so please do remember that particular one. all right so if you talk about this one okay. so this award or this uh, this is a campaign uh, which is generally taken by ministry of housing and urban affairs and um, uh, if you talk about uh, for the target housing for all that is by 2022 okay. so target usko bhi thoda sa aapka dhyan rakhiyega okay. and uh, under uh, uttar pradesh uh, won the award in the best performing state and followed by madhya pradesh okay. so yes Yes, please do remember that particular one. Even recently, your Prime Minister Gram, Prime Minister Awas Yojana Gramin, which means six lakh houses, your Prime Minister's construction is over. Even for urban, we have some news as well. So please try to remember these particular ones. Next question is about a lighthouse project. So uh, in the month of January 2020 and uh, 21, first week of January 2021, Prime Minister Narendra Modi who announced uh, uh, different different uh, lighthouses and will generally boost this con uh, construction business or the overall modernization of that particular construction and all. So uh, there is how many lighthouses? So your answer is six. So there are six lighthouses or lighthouse project which was generally inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Okay. So option six. C is the right answer for this one, and uh, we have places as well: Indore, Madhya Pradesh, and Rajkot in Gujarat, okay. Chennai, Tamil Nadu, Ranchi, Jharkhand, Agartala, Tripura, and uh, Lucknow in Uttar Pradesh. So these are the six uh, destinations for uh, this particular project. You know, so please try to remember these one as well. Okay. So sometimes examiner asks uh, questions related to recent one, but whenever they ask, whenever they pick questions from recent oriented things, so they ask in detail. So please try to remember these particular name as well. Next question, guys. So this is a laser technology base. Uh, we can say. Uh, for uh, surveillance and all, we generally use these kind of technologies nowadays. Team. So, this defense equipment manufacturer has signed a contract with Indian Navy in New Delhi to supply 20 indigenously developed light amplification by uh, stimulated uh, emission of radiation uh, dazzlers. Team. So, we generally use these particular lights uh, during the uh, 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 during the overall travel of these warships and all. Team. So, आपका मतलब एक light laser lights के थ्रू हम लोग indicate दे सकते हैं we can clear our route and all. Team. So, that will be manufactured by whom? So, your answer is your answer is for this particular option A will be correct answer. Team. That is Bharat Electronics Limited. Team. So, Bharat Electronics Limited is the right answer for this. One. Even you can see in this particular image as well. Team. So, this generally kind of we use these um, uh, signals and all. Okay. So, we can use these particular technologies for signals and all. Okay. So, this will be manufactured by Bharat Electronics Limited and they will supply 20 these kind of technologies to Indian Navy. And uh, uh, the technology is overall developed by DRTO and now these will be manufactured by BEL. So, technology, that particular technology is developed by DRTO but uh, the overall manufacturing contracts is goes to BEL. So, please do remember this one as well. Okay. All right. Next question on your screen, guys. <clears throat> uh, which country will co-chair the International Union for Conservation of Nature, that is IUCN, supported Asia uh, Protected Areas Partnership, a regional forum to uh, conserve that uh, wildlife habitat for next three years. Okay. So, to uh, to protect that wildlife uh, habitat for next three years, we uh, generally, uh, this particular country, it means uh, your answer is India. Okay. So, India will chair this particular group for next three years. Okay. And uh, we have we have number of uh, we have some good numbers in last uh, if you talk if you talk about last few uh, uh, four to five years like we have number of leopards we have number of tigers and all so 
After this, this particular decision is made by this uh, group and all. Okay, so India will head this particular group for next uh, next uh, three years, and uh, India generally replaced to South Korea. Okay, so India in that particular case, uh, this particular group is replaced by. So India will replace to South Korea. Yes, now please do remember this particular thing as well. This is quite important for examination purpose. Okay, so examiner may ask these kind of question as well. Next question, guys. Uh, next question is about FSSAI. That is. Uh, uh, food safety and standard authority of india has capped the amount of trans fatty acid so that is quite harmful for uh, like heart related disease in all time and even who also uh, taken some uh, target ki will uh, will uh, will reduce that particular one uh, that uh, trans fatty acids by zero okay, will do it by zero by year 2023 so who also have some target in all time so for year 2021 if you talk about year 2021 it is 3% and for 2022 it is 2% okay. so fssi yes ha very good guys ha abhi recently jinke dwara aapka ye announcement kiya gaya so we have that particular numbers as well to uh, uh, if you talk about for 2021 the recent the current one is 5% so we'll reduce it to 3% by 2021 and uh, by 2022 it will be uh, 2% and who by 2000 who also have a target ki hum log 2023 tak aapka aise jo bhi assets in all hai inke uses ko na ke barabar ya will generally uh eliminate these kind of uh, mixers and all okay so these are generally a reason for the heart attacks and all heart related disease and all all right next question on your screen guys next question on your screen so who has been appointed as uh, the first additional director general human right um, uh human rights in the newly uh, created human rights cell in indian army so last Uh, recently indian army created one human rights cell okay. so uh, that that generally that generally listen the overall cases about uh, the overall issues faced by these persons in all okay. so who is the first additional director general of this particular organization so what will be your answer major general gautam okay. i'll share this particular pdf guys no worry okay. i'll share this particular pdf okay. so for detailed discussion you can go through that particular if you face any problem you can mention uh, in comment section with your question number and all so i'll explain that particular part as well okay. so who will uh, function under the indian army vice chief that is um, लेफ्टिनेंट और जनरल एस के सैनी है नॉन ठीक है चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन ओलंपिक मेडलिस्ट माइकल किंडो पास द वे रिसेंटली ही वाज एसोसिएटेड विद व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फील्ड सो व्हाट विल बी योर आंसर फॉर दिस वन गाइस सो माइकल किंडो ही रिसेंटली पास द वे एंड ही वाज अ ओलंपिक मेडलिस्ट फॉर इंडिया एंड ही वाज एसोसिएटेड विद व्हिच फील्ड सो योर आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी इट मींस हॉकी सो हॉकी विल बी राइट आंसर फॉर दिस वन आई शो दैट इमेज एज वेट यस हां वेरी गुड गाइस ऑसम सो ही वाज बोर्न इन ओडिशा and uh, michael kindo was a part of uh, the indian hockey team which won olympic uh, olympic bronze medal in uh, munich uh, in uh, 1972 michael uh, kindo received the arjun award in 1972 as well. so there are two uh, important point for examination purpose first we already discussed in uh, question and second one is this particular award so please try to remember this particular award as well for your upcoming examination next question guys Padma Shri awardee Colonel Narendra Bol Kumar passed away recently. He was an iconic, so or you can say he was also uh, uh, associated with this uh, business or which area and all. So your answer is mountainer. Okay. So mountainers will be correct answer for this particular question. All right, very good guys. Okay. So mountainer will be right answer for this one, and I'll uh, uh, we'll talk about some other areas. Okay. So he was born in Rawalpindi, Pakistan, and uh, in 1964 he was the first Indian to climb uh, that Mount Nanda Devi. He also climbed uh, climbed that particular mount everest in 1965 so these are some key achievements and all so please try to remember at least 1964 he was the first indian to climb that particular mount um, that particular uh, mount nanda devi so that is important for that uh, for your examination purpose okay. so examiner may ask question about that particular area as well next one guys uh, the five day long national folk dance festival 2020 was held in which of the following city of india so what will be your answer this is very easy question i hope you guys are aware about this particular news okay, yes it is jammu okay? and even there is nothing 
uh, even there is uh, we we do not have uh, data about that discussion and all there is a to the points uh, statement so you can go there uh, you can go uh, for that particular question so aapko bilkul to the points usko dhyan rakhna next question which general insurance company has launched health insurance coverage under ayushman bharat pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana sehat now we have one other uh, abbreviation so please remember this particular abbreviation of sehat theek hai so this sehat is generally for jammu and kashmir theek hai so this is a part of that pmjay that pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana but pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana is only effective for these weaker section or we can say only for bpl families and all now uh, recently prime minister narendra modi who launched this particular scheme in jammu and kashmir and uh, Uh, they can uh, take the benefit of this particular scheme through which insurance company so answer is bajaj alliance general insurance okay. so option b will be correct answer for this one okay so uh, if examiner ask the uh, about the abbreviation so please do remember this one and if they ask question about the limit so what is the limit of uh, this pradhan mantri sehat scheme or pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana sehat scheme so your answer will be 5 lakh rupees per family per year okay. so the limit for this one is Uh, 5 lakh rupees per family per year theek okay? hai so please also remember the limit for this particular scheme as well okay? so previously only 6 lakh beneficiaries who generally take benefit of this particular scheme now the entire uh, population of jammu and kashmir or the entire 21 lakh families from jammu and kashmir they can opt this particular scheme all right and this scheme is launched by prime minister narendra modi on 6th of 26th of december 2020 okay? so please do remember these facts as well next question on your screen guys uh drdo has signed mou uh, with a uh, which metro rail corporation corporation to uh, render technical support to implement of the advanced biodigester mk2 uh, technology so will generally use this particular technology for human uh, waste management and all okay so which uh, which metro your yeah, answer is maharashtra metro so recently there is a deal between there is a mou between uh, drdo and maharashtra metro especially for that particular pune metro and all and uh, this uh, this is that uh, technology that is generally known as biodigester mk2 technology which is developed by drdo and that will generally help this uh, maharashtra metro to manage the human uh, waste and all okay? so please do remember that particular so c is the right answer in that case next question guys there is a scheme uh, name of that particular scheme is a uh, launch pad scheme and uh, this particular scheme will help uh, youth of that particular uh, state for self reliant by the continuing their study or their trading as well okay? so kind of employability and all jo ki aap yahan pe count kar so ek baar jaldi se likh ke bataiye which state generally launched this particular scheme yes so madhya pradesh will be right answer for this one yes very good guys so mp is the correct answer for this particular one. so this is generally launched in the overall the uh, the complete district of madhya pradesh that is 30 uh, 52 district of madhya pradesh and uh, name of that particular scheme is launch pad next one <coughs> union minister of education ramesh pokhrial nishank virtually laid foundation stone of india's first test bed of uh, uh, test bed for autonomous navigation system in which iit so your answer is iit hyderabad so iit hyderabad will be correct answer for this one okay. so it is a part of tihan so project tihan so we generally open that particular uh, uh, that uh, ramesh pokhrial nishank sir who generally uh, uh, launched this uh, tihan foundation uh, with the allocation of 135 crore okay. so please try to remember the overall allocation and all as well okay. so tihan that is a part of iit hyderabad next one guys renewed personality anil pancha run passed away anil pancharun passed away uh, he was a poet and lyricist of which language so the question is about their language so anil pancharun who recently passed away okay. so he was a poet and lyricist as well okay. even actor as well okay. so now the question is ki uh, uh, he generally write these particular poetry in you know, all lyrics and songs and all in which language so your answer is malayalam so malayalam will be right answer for this one okay. so option d is the right answer i hope you guys remember this image So uh, this image uh, will give you some clarity about that particular name and all. Okay. So uh, his last contribution was for the movie Within Second, and he started his career in 2005. Okay. So last movie that can be asked in your examination. So please try to remember this particular. So Within Second was the last movie, or uh, uh, for that particular last movie, they uh, they write some songs and all. Okay. Next one, India flag of 
the 40th Indian scientific expedition to Antarctica, uh, from which of the following port? And uh, the overall, uh, the overall responsibility or the overall programs in that particular Antarctica that is take care by this National Center for Polar and Ocean Research that is based in uh, Goa as well. Okay. So, Mormuga port will be correct answer for this one. And even the, this particular institute is also based in Goa. Okay. So, please do, do remember this particular one as well. Okay. So, uh, this particular, so we have two major project in uh, Antarctica and these entire projects are generally run by uh, this um, NCPOR and uh, uh, second one is Ministry of Earth Sciences. Okay. So Ministry of Earth Sciences who recently come with this particular and the name of that particular vessels is MV Vesali. So Golovin. So we generally launch this particular one. All right. Next question, guys. Uh, which meteorological observatory has uh, been conferred the uh, status of senatorial Centennial um, observing station by WMO uh, to uh, recognize its contribution to, towards long-term meteorological observation team for uh, uh, for providing their services uh, for more than 100 years and all. Team. So, what is the name of that particular one? Also mentioned, where is the headquarter of WMO, guys? Anyone know where is the headquarter of this organization, WMO? For this one, your answer is. Patna Meteorological Observatory. Okay. So, option D will be right answer for this one. Okay. So, Patna Meteorological um, Observatory will be correct answer. And uh, the headquarter of the uh, WMO is based in Geneva, Switzerland. Okay. So, the Patna Meteorological Observatory was established in 1867 by the British Corps of Engineers team. So, that are uh, for their services for more than 100 years and all. Okay. So, recently WMO gave this particular recognition of a uh, centennial observing station so please do remember this name next question union minister dharmendra pradhan inaugurated india's first of its kind migrant worker cell at which of the following place which will generally help these migrant workers and they'll reach, uh, there are kind of uh, there is a kind of a call center and these migrant workers uh, can uh, uh, can uh, raise the uh, can raise their voice through this particular uh, tele uh, through this particular service and, and all okay? if they are facing any problem and also they can uh, they can call on that particular toll free number so your answer is gujarat okay? sorry surat gujarat will be correct answer for this one next one guys the recapitalize with uh, Recapitalize with which public sector bank in a first of its kind, the central government has issued 5,500 crores, zero coupon bonds. So, zero coupon bonds, uh, uh, in that particular case, we do not have any rate of interest. Eh? But, uh, you say, uh, let's suppose you invested 90 rupees. Eh? So, there is a, that is mentioned in contact, you will get 100 rupees at the time, at the time of maturity. Eh? So, for which bank? Your answer is Punjab and Sindh Bank. Even I hope you guys remember that uh, RBI also raised some concern about these kind of bonds. So, uh, this was in news uh, in the last, uh, we can say last one month from RBI as well as from this government of India bond buying. Scene, okay? So, these bonds were launched on uh, 10th of November 2020, basically capital infusion program and all. And uh, the maturity is 2030 and 2035. It means... We have a maturity of we have a maturity of 10 years. These bonds are for 10 years and 15 years. So the bond maturity is 10 year and 15 years. All right. Next question, guys. Uh, who will head the uh, high level group named South Asia Group for Energy uh, for the development of South Asia Energy Security Architecture set up by a government of India? So there is a setup regarding the South Asia Group of uh, Group for Energy. So this particular group is generally found by government of India, the overall uh, uh, the overall energy related services and all. And who will head this particular committee or who is the head of this particular committee? So your answer is Ram Vinay Sahi. Okay. So option A is the correct answer for this one. Okay. So Ram Vinay Sahi is the right answer for this one. Even you can go for that particular, uh, the, uh, the fact related to other uh, as well. Okay. So we have limited time duration. So we'll quickly go through these particular. Which state government has launched? Kisan Kalyan mission for farmers welfare to double up the income of that particular state. So your answer is Uttar Pradesh. So this is a very easy question to the points. Yes, Uttar Pradesh will be right answer. So Kisan Kalyan mission which is generally launched by Uttar Pradesh government. Next question guys. This is very important. You'll There is a high probability examiner can ask this kind of question. 
So payment infrastructure development funds that was announced by RBI and uh, uh, this is something regarding to uh, the uh, creation of POS or digitalization of tier 3 to tier 6 cities. Team. So we'll generally create some digitalization in these particular areas. And now the question is who will head this particular committee? So the answer is option D. And the overall allocation for this one, previously it was 500 crore rupees, but now it is 3 or 45 crore rupees. The, the previous announcement was about 500 crore, but now it is 345 crore. Out of this, 250 crore will be um, contributed by RBI team, and other 95 crore will be contributed by the, uh, the different different stakeholders. So this particular point, this is again very important, the overall allocated amounts for this particular scheme, please do remember it. Please also remember this particular scheme will work for tier two, uh, tier three to tier six cities. Team. And regarding the overall building of that, uh, uh, these uh, POS devices and all. Next question: Which uh, with which bank the government of India has signed a loan agreement worth uh, worth of uh, six forty six uh, million US dollar for two road project in Andhra Pradesh? So what will be your answer for this one, guys? And those who are watching this particular session, guys, please do share with uh, uh, with uh, please do share this session with your friends. So other can also join this particular one. Yes, NDV. Achha, who is current chairman of NDV, guys? Please do mention in comment section who is the current chairman and vice chairman of this NDV. New Development Bank. It is also known as BRICS Bank. It is also known as BRICS Bank and uh, headquarter based in Shanghai, China. Okay? So its headquarter is in Shanghai, China. Ke yes. Uh, Marcos Trezio will be correct answer for that one. Yeah, very good answer, chairman. And who is current uh, vice chairman? Ashok Lavasa is incorrect. Ashok Lavasa for ADB. Okay? Whoever mentioned that particular one. Okay? Chalo, yes. Huh? Uh, okay. Chalo, next question. I'm waiting for your answers. Huh? You can answers your answers. Yes, Anil Kishore, whoever mentioned Prakash, very good. It is Anil Kishore. Entities are making a transaction of 50 crore and above using RBI to uh, centralize a uh, payment uh, system for RTGS and NADFT and all. So this is a mandatory code that is LEI. So please do remember the abbreviation of LEI and it is a how many digit code? So the answer is 20 digit code. Yeah. So this is again very important. This is effective from, uh, this will be effective from uh, April 1st, 2021. And uh, this is again quite important question. Yeah. So if you are doing any transaction 50 crore and above, so you'll need this you need this particular code that is generally known as LEI, and it's a 20 digit code. Okay. So uh, so we can monitor the overall financial transaction or large financial monetary transaction and all. Next question, uh, which has become the first urban cooperative bank uh, in India to receive a a license from RBI as a small finance bank. Yeah. So RBI recently given this in principle certification to uh, one uh, cooperative bank and that has generally become first cooperative bank in India. So the answer is Sivalik Mercantile Cooperative Bank. It is based in Saranpur uh, Uttar Pradesh. Okay. So the headquarter of this particular bank is Saranpur Uttar Pradesh and are we recently given in principle certification? It means that particular bank have 18 months to fulfill the further guidelines. You know, okay? So in principle certification, they have given 18 months of time. Diya hai, jo other guidelines are to fulfill the other guidelines. And when the operation is going to start, April 2021. Se. Next question, guys. Uh, which power company has partnered with uh, uh, SIDV, that is Small Industrial Development Bank of India, to provide an easy financing scheme for MSME? Customers in route to uh, in route of uh, solar segments and all. So your answer is Tata Power. Okay. So Tata Power and uh, Sidri, jinke beech mein agreements aapka dekhe. Jisme basically Tata Power will help these MSMEs to build the route to uh, the route of uh, solar segments and all. Okay. And Sidri will provide the financial assistance in that particular agreement. Next one, who has been appointed uh, the leader of Google Cloud for Asia Pacific region? So what will be your answer for this one? Your answer is Karan Bajwa. So Karan Bajwa, he was uh, the former head of Google Cloud India. Now uh, he promoted as a leader of Google Cloud of for Asia Pacific region. Yeah. So option B is the correct answer for this one. Uh, recently, that NSO, NSO that generally work under the aegis of MOSB, Ministry of Statistic and Program Implementation, and they come with their uh, the advanced uh, estimation of national income and as per their data in uh, financial year 2021 for current years Indian economy will contrast by this percent yeah. so for financial year 2021 for current financial year Indian economy will contrast by minus 7.7 percent and in next case in next year Indian economy will grow by 5.4 percent 
This is very important data, guys. Please do remember these particular facts. Same. So examinations के अंदर generally आपको ऐसे question मिलेंगे, वो आपका Moody's, आपका S&P and all इनको ignore कर सकता, but NSO is quite important for examination purpose. Same. Next one. Uh, who has authored the book India's 71 year test the journey to trim uh, in uh, Australia so who authored this particular book guys yeah. so this particular book is recently uh, released during the uh, India Australia series yeah. so, when, uh, India ke Australia ko tha, and R. Kosik is the author of this particular book yeah. option B will be correct answer for this one next question guys uh, who become the first female umpire to offset to obfuscate in uh, men's uh, test uh, test mess so mai, jo aapka men's uh, test mess aapka hota indian australia ke beech mein second test mess aapka jo tha to usme umpiring karne wali pehli mahila so your answer is so what will be your answer clary uh, polosek so option uh, b will be correct answer for this one okay so option b is the right answer for this one next question the khadi and village industries commission sign an mou with which uh, uh, with which security forces to supply 1,000, uh, 1,72,000 cotton uh, dharis uh, every year. So dharis, it means uh, rubs in all. So with uh, which organization? Your answer is India Tibet, uh, ITBP, Indian uh, Indo Tibetan Border Police. So ITBP will be right answer for this one. Next question: uh, Which mutual fund has acquired an additional 86,993 shares of CBS Bank Limited with a Consequently, raise its stake uh, to 5.01% 5, 5 from 4.96%. So, what will be your answer? SBI. And uh, this particular approval is given by generally RBI regarding the overall acquisition of this particular bank. Yeah. And the approval is valid till 30, uh, 21st of July 2021. So, RBI gave uh, us a note uh, that the particular mutual fund company can buy 10% of the stake of this particular company. Yeah. So, please do remember the overall limit is 10%. And the uh, the approval is uh, valid till 30, uh, 21st of July 2021. Next question. Who has been appointed as the first Deputy General Secretary of All India Football Federation? So, for, former footballer, your answer is uh, Abhishek Yadav. Okay. So, Abhishek Yadav, for, former uh, footballer who recently appointed as a Deputy General Secretary of All India Football Federation. So, C is the correct answer for this one. Very good. Next one. Which bank has signed MOU? Uh, with Indian Army for Soria salary account. This is very important, guys. Please don't ignore this question. Here. So, Soria salary account that is generally offered by Bandhan Bank to uh, uh, Indian Army. Yeah. So, Indian Army person in all. Yeah. And uh, that particular bank will provide some additional services like this account will be on uh, zero uh, balance or 6% uh, rate of interest on uh, that uh, saving account and the uh, number of transactions will be unlimited from ATMs and other areas. Okay. So, unlimited ATM transaction and other transactions and 6% interest up to a balance of uh, 1 lakh rupees, above a balance of rupees 1 lakh. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, this particular initiative is taken by uh, Bandhan Bank. So, please do remember this one. Quite important. Next one. In collaboration with the Global Educational Research Association, that is GERA, uh, which university has organized virtual international account conference, that is um, uh, EDUCON 20. So, EDUCON 20, that is inaugurated by Education Minister uh, that Ramesh Pokharyal Nisan, and this is a 31 hours uh, hackathon kind of hackathon, and there are a number of uh, scholars from the different different countries, those who participated in this particular meeting. So, with which university? So, your answer is Central University of Punjab, Bhatinda will be right answer. B, B is the correct answer for this one. So, guys, please do remember and also remember the theme for this one. Yeah. So, envisioning uh, education for transforming youth uh, to uh, restore global, global peace. So, that was the theme. Theme is quite important. Again, I would say go for this one. And uh, uh, this particular conference is uh, uh, hosted by Akira and uh, Q C U P V, that is Central University of Punjab, Hatinda, and uh, inaugurated by Ramesh Pokhriyal Nisan. Next question. What is, uh, what is the theme of 16th Pravasi Bharti Divas? Convention organized on uh, 9th of January 2021. So, the answer is contributing to Atmanirbha Bharat. So, this is a theme. This is a theme again very important for examination purpose. Okay. Next question The government of India has formulated a new industrial development scheme for 
uh, which union territory so recently government of india or central government uh, they uh, came with some plan for the overall industrial development in that particular union territory so your answer is jammu and kashmir so jammu and kashmir is the right answer for this one next question under which chairman sir union government has decided to form to formulate a committee to find solution to issues associated with a preservation of ladakh land uh, ladakh's land culture and languages so there is a team from ladakh who generally uh, met with our home ministry and they uh, they raised some concern the after that there is a team and this team is headed by g kishan reddy okay. so option a is the correct answer for this one next question the first women chief of uh, the first women chief justice of telangana high court again so these re, these recent oriented current affairs again quite important yeah. so for your answer it is hima kohli hima kohli will be correct answer for this one guys nice, yes try to answer as uh, uh, jitni jaldi aap log de sakte hain utne jaldi aap answer dene ki koshish kare and everyone please do participate in this one okay. next one satya paul he uh, he was recently passed away and um, he was associated with this field so your answer is fashion designer okay so option c is the correct answer for this one okay so satya paul well known uh, fashion designer i hope you guys remember this image okay. thing so he recently passed away and uh, please do remember them field as well next one uh, as per the first advance estimate of gdp so uh, for 2020 21 that is released by national statistic office and so and uh, what uh, by what percent indian economy will contrast by what percent this will answer is 7.7 percent we already talk about this particular data okay next one who has been appointed as chief information commissioner chief information officer of us army again this is very important huh, guys so your answer is raj ayer okay in that case your answer is raj ayer and this is very important okay so these kind of uh, appointments where generally indians origin uh, these particular personalities are appointed okay? so these name are quite important for your upcoming examination next one which country has successfully test launched fateh one so fateh one indigenously developed guided multi launch rocket system okay? so this is generally launched by pakistan so in that case your answer is pakistan so for day one that missile system that is successfully launched by pakistan next question there is a book that is titled as sabri mala vijnan kosham vijnan vijnan kosham okay so sabri mala vijnan kosham a book uh, that is relief uh, released by arif mohammad khan governor of kerala and who authored this particular book so your answer is k s vijayan okay so option b will be right answer for this one next one there is one another book that is right under your nose so the name of this particular book is right under your nose so who author this particular book what will be your answer right under your nose the book is authored by so your answer is r giridharan so manager at rbi yeah. so rbi ke andar manager hai aapka r giridharan jinke dwara ye book aapka likha hai so right under your nose is the correct answer for this one next one Uh, who has been appointed as full time director of college of supervisor this is very important guys again i i can bet on this particular area annual examination mein aapko definitely milega so college of supervisors the overall responsibility of that uh, supervisory and uh, do function aapka hota hai na rbi ka usko aur zyada strong karne ke liye to provide uh, uh, strength to that particular uh, task and all so recently rbi came with this particular college of supervisors iska ek full fledged team aapka banaya gaya so iska first full time director kisko banaya gaya so answer is ravi narayan mishra this is very important please go through this detail as well okay so it was started in may 2020 but uh, we can see in a limited manner now we come with uh, rv recently come with uh, full black plan and all okay so ravi uh, narayan mishra who will uh, head this particular organization next one phone pay in partnership with which bank launch term life insurance plan on its platform so your answer is what will be your answer bharat uh, sorry it is uh, icic produce prudential team so icic prudential limited so um, basically phone pay aap phone pay ke through aapka icic prudential life insurance ke jo term insurance plan hai unko purchase kar sakte hain with a limit of with a sum assured of minimum uh, 1 lakh and maximum 5 lakh rupees theek hai aur 170 something rupees aapka jo uska premium hai next one uh, which public sector bank sign mou with the sidvi small industrial development bank of india Uh, to enable msmes customer uh, of the bank to apply one time restructuring so re restructuring plan that was launched by rbi during april 2020 and now there is a bank 
the name of that particular bank is so what is the name of this particular bank what will be your answer d bank of baroda yes sir so bank of baroda jisne abhi msmes matlab sidbi ke sange tie up aapka kya hai regarding one time restructuring means if they are unable to pay their overall loans and all so we'll offer some uh, facilities and jitna bhi unka loan outstanding ho usko aapka fulfill karenge right so Uh, even uh, the abbreviation of this asset restructuring module for MSME, this is quite important. Ah, uh, so please uh, try to remember this abbreviation as well. Next one, the world largest floating solar uh, solar energy project. So, कहाँ पे ये launch किया गया था? Your answer is Madhya Pradesh. Again, this is very important. Yeah. So, the world largest solar floating um, uh, uh, the the world largest floating solar energy project with a capacity of 600 megawatt. Yeah. क्योंकि Madhya Pradesh के अंदर and please also remember the name of that particular dam. So, इसको किसके ऊपर बनाया जाएगा? Omkareshwar Dam on Narmada River. ठीक है? So, जहाँ पे इसको develop किया जाएगा and by 2022-23 आपका complete होगा with the allocation of the overall cost is about 3,000 crore. Next question, which country has decided to assist? India by uh, providing a loan of 2,129 crores. That is about uh, uh, the name of uh, currency is yen, and uh, this is about 30 billion yen. Okay. So if you convert yen into INR, so the value is about 2,129 for COVID-related assistance and all. Okay. So answer is Japan. So Japan will be right answer for this one. All right, very good. Next question. Tirupati uh, Kutumba passed away. Tirulapati uh, Kutumbar Rao, he recently passed away. Him. So he was associated with this field. So your answer is he was a journalist. So journalist, he was a journalist. Yes. Next one. Which country uh, will be uh, country of uh, country in focus during this EFI? So I hope you guys are aware about this particular events because EFI, which you have organized, is going to be in Goa. In the 51st edition, you are going to be. Now uh, the uh, focus country that is your answer is. Your answer is Bangladesh. Okay, so we have uh, different different movies and all. The Zuki, here, you can see. Goa, where you can see it organized. Here. Next one. Uh, which state government has uh, launched the Dakhil portal to uh, streamline uh, grievances or addressing system? Okay. So there, there is recently one state who come with the Dakhil. The Dakhil means you can file your complaints or even you can track your uh, complaints or the current status and all. So who released this particular one? Your answer is. Punjab. So Punjab state government who come with this particular scheme. Next one, uh, the central government has sanctioned 37.87 crore for uh, facilitated of Parshuram Kund of Pilgram site that is located in which state? So now again, uh, question is kind of static as well as current. Okay, so Parshuram Kund of Pilgram to develop that particular area and this is located in which area? So answer is Arunachal Pradesh. So this is a part of Arunachal Pradesh and. Uh, The overall allocated amount is 37.87 crore to develop the overall this particular pilgrim area. You know, okay. Next one, Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh Finance Corporation has partnered with uh, which general insurance company to initiate comprehensive insurance cover for customers of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. So in that case, your answer is option A. Okay. So option A that is uh, Universal Sampo Sampo General Insurance Company Limited will be correct answer. Next question, guys. a uh, veteran politician and former uh, 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 foreign minister <coughs> madhvanesh sholanki passed away yeah, he was a uh, former chief minister of which state so what will be your answer for this one your answer is gujarat jada fast to nahi ho raha na jada fast to nahi ho raha we already exceeded our, our time limit again. so one hour ka session tha i ma'am ka bhi session start hone wala hai so next question is there is a book making of a journal himalayan eco so what will be your answer for this one guys uh, there is a book which is uh, titled as making of a journal on uh, himalayan eco we'll take maximum 10 10 minute huh? so we'll try to cover these uh, remaining 20 question in 10 minute so your answer is kon sa himalayan eco so option option b is the right answer for this one all right so this is book cover next question who become the world richest person according to the bloomberg billionaires index so your answer is Uh, Elon Musk. Okay, so Elon Musk will be correct answer, and uh, uh, Jeff Bezos, which is your second number five. If you talk about uh, Asia, okay, so if you talk about Asia, so please do, do remember this name as well. Okay, so John Sun Sun, he uh, is a founder of this uh, bottle water based company that is Nong Food. Okay, so he is the current richest person in Asia. So please do remember this name as well. And Mukesh Ambani, he shifted to third number in the world. Yes. Next question. Uh, Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency 
data has signed MOU with which company uh, for providing technical expertise in developing renewable energy project? So your answer is NHPC. So with NHPC, okay? so NHPC and Ereda that come with uh, that particular MOU and agreement. Okay? Next one, who has been appointed as a deputy or press secretary for the vice president um, uh, in the White House? So what will be your answer? So for Kamala Harris, okay? so she was also the press secretary of Kamala Harris during the election campaign and all. So your answer is Indian uh, Indian American uh, Sabrina Singh. Okay? So Sabrina Singh is the right answer for this one. Okay? Option uh, D is the correct answer for this particular one. All right. Like, uh, so Sabrina Singh, she was a press secretary during the overall uh, election campaign and all. Next question. Which bank in association with Indian Oil Corporation launched co-branded contactless uh, rupee card? So your answer is State Bank of India. Okay. So State Bank of India and um, this Indian Oil uh, Corporation, in case which near tie up up and if you have Indian Oil Corporation ke petrol pump se petrol for the two hundred and above this particular value ka, so you will get some reward point of 0.75%. So SBI is the right answer. Next one is about uh, NEF Foundation. So this is a wholly owned subsidiary of NABAR. Okay. So which bank has signed an MOU with NEF Foundation to help uh, self-help group and other uh, related uh, customers and all? So your answer is Central Bank of India. So Central Bank of India will be correct answer for this particular one. All right. So um, this uh, this will provide a collateral free credit to support rural women to need uh, uh, to take up uh, manufacturing uh, on a regular basis and all. Okay. So to to promote uh, to promote uh, women entrepreneurship in rural areas and all. Okay. So this will provide the overall loan assistance and all. Next one, guys. The uh, Competition Commission of India (CCI) gave approval for acquisition of 100% stakeholding shareholding uh, Columbia Asia Hospital by which hospital group so after this particular deal that particular hospital group become second largest um, hospital chain in india after apollo group so apollo is not right answer for this one your answer is your correct answer is manipal hospitals okay so option c is the correct answer for this one and apollo group is one of the largest um, uh, uh, hospital chain in india okay so please do remember this one that one also as well so we already talk about this one now, Educon 2020. So what is the theme for Educon 2020? So what will be your answer? I already talk, uh, we already discussed about this one now. So envisioning um, education for transforming youth to restore global peace will be correct answer for this one. So option C is the right answer in that case. Next question is about again very important question. Trade our policy review that is generally done by a WTO that is uh, one of the FX. A trade regulatory body in the world. Okay. So uh, now they recently Indian government or Indian uh, the overall trade review that is done by WTO and as per this particular review so uh, the overall economic growth for Indian economy during these uh, uh, during uh, 2015 to 2020 was 7.4%. Okay. So as per this particular report during these financial year Indian economy grow by 7.4%. Okay. And uh, Anu Badwan who uh, who generally presented this particular report to WTO and so please do remember this one and this is the six uh, the, the last one was presented in 2015 okay. so this was the seventh one and the last one was presented in 2015 next one about uh, Sagar Anveshika okay. so Sagar Anveshika a coastal research vehicle uh, that uh, uh, that is generally launched from Chennai port and uh, that will help in environment indexing and uh, um, bathymetrics that is mapping of underwater features and all and this is launched by whom so the answer is Harshwardhan okay. so Union Health Minister Harshwardhan who recently launched this particular vehicle and apart from that we have six other vehicles as well okay. six other vehicles these are so please remember this number six uh, total seven and uh, we already have six one okay. Sagar Kanya, Sagar Sampada, Sagar Nidhi, Sagar Manusha and Sagar Tara so these six names okay. Again, quite important for examination purpose. Next one, who represented India uh, in the um, annual India and France strategic dialogue 2021 uh, to discuss regional and global issues? They talk about the international uh, terrorism and all, the, and they also sign some uh, MOUs regarding different different areas. And all. So, who represent? Uh, who generally led this Indian delegation? So, the answer is Ajit Dobar. So, E is the correct answer for this one. Uh, which state government has? Wave entertainment text to uh, for the cinemas to help 
uh, this particular industry and also recently there is a state who made announcement about uh, the wave of uh, this uh, entertainment text so what is the name of that particular state so your answer is kerala so kerala is the right answer for this one next one famous indian american ved prakash mehta passed away recently he was a so what will be your answer in that case so ved mehta who recently passed away and he was uh, generally known for so your answer is option e novelist okay. so option e is the correct answer for this one okay. so next question uh, annual cherry blossom uh, mau festival was celebrated in which state so through generally we organize this time we generally organize this particular festival uh, in a e uh, e forms or video conferencing and all game so this is a festival from which state so what will be your answer in that case mau is a part of this uh, manipur okay. so there is a village that is generally there is a place in um, a manipur that is generally known as mau so b will be correct answer for this one next one who has launched uh, the book gazing eastward of a buddhist monk and uh, revolutionaries in china so there is a book which is titled as gazing eastward of a buddhist monk and revolutionaries in china in 1957 so who is the author of this particular book your answer is romila thapar so romila thapar is the right answer for this one all right very good guys awesome next one uh, who launched who has launched the uh, single window clearance system for coal mines and all so your answer is union home minister amit shah so amit shah is the correct answer in that case okay so please do remember this one and this will generally provide uh, the overall e auctioning of these coal mines and all and uh, for uh, the overall auction process and all we have sbi capital so sbi capital generally that uh, take care the overall financial transactions of these particular auction process and all next one uh, what is uh, india's rank as per the, um, the third edition of digital evolution scorecard 2020 developed by a trust university fletcher school in partnership with mastercard so what what was india's rank your answer is fourth and uh, this particular report is topped by china okay so china the top this particular report and india at fourth position so fourth one is the correct answer for this one okay so the third edition Yeah, uh, top by China and India at fourth position. And uh, in case of uh, state category, if you talk about this one, Singapore would top this particular one, and India at sixty first position. Okay? So please, we have two different different categories as well. So try to remember these one. So uh, this is a third third edition. Uh, the previous two edition was launched in two thousand fourteen and two thousand seventeen. Next one. who has been appointed as uh, the head of a 10 member 10 member empowered committee for administration of covid 19 vaccine by our government of india so i missed that um, animation so i hope now you guys can easily answer him so he is a uh, former chairman of tri as well him so what will be your answer rs sharma okay so rs sharma will be right answer for this one okay the former uh, chairman of uh, tri telecom regulatory authority of india so next question guys uh what is the theme of national youth day 2021 so this is a very easy question huh? so we celebrated national youth day on 12 january 2021 and what is the theme for this one so your answer is uh, you are uh, utsah naye bharat ka and this was for 2020 okay so for 2020 it was uh, challenging youth power for nation building and for 2020 so you don't need this one so you you, you just need 2021 so it is yuva utsah naye bharat ka so option d is the correct answer in that case and please remember this one okay next one the final question for the day guys and uh, please uh, do like and share with your friends okay? so who has been named the official representative of bcci uh, for the uh, board meeting in uh, icc and all okay? so who, generally who will represent india in uh, icc board meeting so your answer is jay sir okay? so jay sir BCCI secretary. So your answer is Jessa in that case. So these are some top update. I hope you guys enjoy this particular uh, kind of speed quiz. Eh? And uh, these are very important for your upcoming recent examination as well as let's suppose if you are uh, if you are going any main examination after three to four months as well. So these questions are very important for your examination purpose. Okay. So tomorrow we have a session on January third week at uh, eight a.m. again. Okay. So we'll have this particular session. in the morning 8 am and evening will again have this particular session that is gk tornado okay so gk tornado will come with that uh, another handed question or uh, that will be part uh, part 2 for uh, this uh, uh, gk tornado month uh, uh, 
January 2021. So I hope you guys participated in this particular uh, this particular quiz as well. So we you still have time. You can participate in this particular one, and you can also test your preparation and all. Yes, I'll share Ansita and all those who are asking about PDF and all. Yeah, I'll definitely share this particular PDF in your Telegram group. So if you are not part of that particular Telegram group, so please. Quickly join that particular group. I regularly share these particular PDFs and all things. So generally, Madhav sir take care about this GK tornado session, but Madhav sir on leave. So for next two to three days, I will take this particular session. All right. So, huh. Uh, next, I think ma'am is live, so you can join uh, ma'am uh, for English session. Okay. So please do join ma'am for English session. So guys, these are some ongoing courses and. Uh, uh, for uh, this particular one, we are coming with some surprise. Okay. So for grade grade of super, we have a surprise step. So which you will get tomorrow. And uh, please uh, uh, stay tuned with the uh, grade up so you can get the uh, daily updates soon. Okay. Oh, so if you like this particular session, please do share with your friends. I hope you guys enjoy. And so please do like and share with your friends as well. So this is it from my side, guys. Thank you for watching this session. Bye bye. Take care all.